What's going on guys? Give you a quick update. It's been really uh, crazy lately around here. But uh, I had this thing come in Thursday or Friday, I don't know, and uh, needed a motor. So here's the sheet metal. Got this all painted last night. Got the fan housing there. Got the uh, front 10, or the rear 10, and the pulley, valve covers, breastplate, the little uh, pieces there for the front, and the manifold over here with some dub gray. Of course, it's uh, I have a formula for the dub gray and, and single stage uh, car paint. And I uh, got the motor all done. Had to uh, almost the way done. Pulled the case back a half, back apart, and uh, changed some things in this one. And uh, fixed the uh, insert, the hole in there. Got that all uh, put together last night. Got our uh, cylinder heads on there, got our cylinder tins on there, got our uh, covers all painted. We got to put our fan housing on there, get our generator installed, our oil cooler, and uh, the exhaust. Uh, the exhaust got a few issues. I was going to call a customer and see if he wants to replace the worn out heater boxes with some J-tubes. And uh, I need to get some insulation uh, clamp kits because there was no uh, donut gaskets on the exhaust. So sure it was a leaker but uh this is what we got for exhaust out here we got uh one heater box with no uh, skin on it and uh one heater box there it's not in operating condition and uh things don't have any provision for heater boxes you know they had the gas seat up front in the trunk so uh yeah they had a completely different exhaust system somebody's put a car system on this but anyway, we got to get that cleaned up, clean our front pan up, paint it, and uh, I have new uh, intake manifold ends that are already blasted in there. Got to soak and clean the oil cooler and uh, wipe the wires down, new fuel line, build the fan shroud, put all that on. And uh, I think we're looking pretty good as far as getting uh, meeting our deadline of Tuesday. So that's where we're at on this one. And. Uh, Pretty much what I've been doing, balls to the wall, is working on this thing. So, got this, uh, I don't know if that's gonna show up out there. You guys need to go check this guy out. Let me take this inside, because I don't think it's gonna show up. So there we go. Uh-huh, go check him out. Kenny needs some views. Looks like he's got some shirts. Probably over there at spreadshirt.com. Uh, check him out. He's got some cool car videos. He's out there in sunny California, and he's always going to the cool shows. And uh, those guys know what's going on out there in California. So they have some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool stuff. You know, set some pretty cool trends out there. And uh, if you watch his videos, you can see it before it happens on the East Coast when it happens on the West Coast. So that's pretty cool. Uh, picked up another Mustang. I don't know if I showed you guys the first one or not. But uh, let me show that. So they're growing some horses here. But uh, Hans doesn't like this guy. I don't think he wants this one. So I think I might just build this one for myself since I sold mine. And uh, you know I can't afford to buy one like I sold. So I might start with this one here. It's an 03, and uh, it's rough. You know the clear's peeling. It's a six-cylinder car. Uh, got some dents in it for sure it's trashed but the price is really right it's a trade-in at one of the dealers that we uh, work with and uh, they were so gracious to let me pick it up you know they had sent it to the auction and I guess it didn't do too well and when it was at the auction somebody put water in the gas tank so uh, yeah so anyway uh, I was gonna take the uh, motor and transmission out of the uh, marquee out there it's only got 80,000 miles on it and pop it in here and are doing LS swap. I don't know which yet. Uh, sort of just want a driver, so I just might do the uh, 4.6 Ford motor, make it more factory correct. But uh, if I get into more of the uh, street racing, single turbo kind of deal, I might just do a LS swap for sure. I've been watching some guys on YouTube, and uh, they've inspired me to build an American car. So, so there we go. That's what we got going on here. Not a whole hell of a lot. Still got trash to burn out here. 
And I got to get on my yard this weekend because, you know, the grass is getting high again, but I can still hit it with a rider. I get Hans out here to get these piles up. But I think it's his birthday or something today or the next day, Tuesday. We usually celebrate on the weekend before his birthday, though, because uh, that way all the grandparents and stuff can come over and uh, celebrate. So, so anyway, let's see what we got in here. Yeah. I need to call Dave. I really apologize, Dave. It's been hectic, and I'm going to call you today for sure. And then I got this other sign here. Let's check it out. You guys uh, see you out there. Let me know. Let me know if you've seen this guy. You know, I sort of, uh, I miss seeing his videos. Don't know what's going on. So I hear he talks to my wife more than me, and uh, I hear he's been pretty busy lately, but video would be cool for your old friends there in the garage and on the YouTubes. You know, we miss our Brit. We miss our Brit. You and PDQ get stingy with the videos. So anyway, that's what's happening. I'm fixing to jump in the car and uh, go get something. I'm hungry. Usually on the weekends I uh, gorge and get some sort of a biscuit or something. I got this truck grill that shit on me here. And then I gotta fix this. And, uh, had some sort of issue down there. And, uh, yeah, it belongs to the guy I did that in Pala for. And I did that in Pala. And, uh, yeah, it was a red tricolor candy, you know, uh, paint a bumper, paint a hood, paint a fender, fender, blend a door, paint a mirror type deal. And, uh, it's a friend of Andrea's, so she, she did it really dirt cheap. Uh, I think it was like 500 with materials. And uh, if you've ever bought red paint before and high solid clear and primer and all that shit that it takes to you know do a job and adhesion promoter because it was a new bumper and all that stuff, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of uh, money left over into the labor issue or the labor side of the job. But uh, yeah, you know, I painted it here and this is where I paint it. And then obviously if you bring a car, it's the 2013 to somebody's garage, you know, not to a business. Uh, you're looking for some sort of a deal, you know, you're the kind of guy that doesn't want to spend retail and uh, pay what it should cost you, you know. So uh, I did paint the car and I buffed the car out back for, uh, you know, a day back there. What's in, buffed the hood, buffed the, you know, I buffed it like glass. And uh, it looked fine to me. I didn't see any issues with it. And apparently when Andrea took it over to the guy's shop, he said there was two uh, spots in the hood that he could see uh, a shadow, you know, like it wasn't covered. And I think what he was seeing was the uh, dew sometimes on those hoods that have the glued on uh, inner structure or structure on the back. If it's a tricolor or candy color and you cut it real smooth you'll see that when the dew starts to set it'll start it'll i don't know it changes colors there or it has a reaction and uh it's temperature related but uh he didn't like it he wanted me to redo it for him and i told him to go pound sand just to uh, keep the car that one was on me and don't ever come looking for a deal again uh you know can't afford to do a job like that twice. Uh, I didn't make anything on it the first time and damn sure wasn't gonna make anything the second time. And uh, you know, what would it have been the second time? So that uh, just gives him a chance to take the car somewhere else and try to get the hood painted for what he got the whole job done for. Don't see it happening. Uh, materials for that will cost 200 bucks just to sheet the hood, uh, especially for red candy, tranny, uh, candy tricolor, you know, uh, it's got a transparent base and it's got a candy on top and it's a fucked up color. Excuse the language. But, uh, yeah, I just let that one go. So, uh, that's something to do less and less of that paint work. Uh, I just hate doing it. Uh, you know, especially when the guy wants to use car price and wants uh, show car quality, it just doesn't go hand in hand. So, uh, not something I'm into. I really don't need to paint cars anyway. I got plenty of mechanical work to do. And uh, I probably just paint my own stuff for here on out. This is going to be my goal. You know, if I buy a car and flip it or whatever, I'll do that. And uh, just stick to the mechanical stuff because I have so much of it that I just turn away. And uh, the paint stuff's just a pain in the ass. And the solvents are getting so expensive. I mean, a gallon of Bondo now is $45 if you buy good Bondo. And, uh, 
when I first started selling materials, I could buy a gallon of Rage Gold for uh, 24 bucks. My cost on it now is $42. So, uh, you know, the, the body shop business is uh, definitely taking a change for the worse with the uh, EPA restraints, the water, the, you know, low VOC and all the uh, whole market changing. It's uh, pretty expensive to go down and do a fender or, you know, do this stuff at your house or make it any kind of hobby, you know. Uh, of course, I got the mixing system over there and I'll always sell paint, you know. But uh, as far as painting stuff for people, I think those days are done. So, uh, just don't need the aggravation. And one thing I can't do anymore for sure, I know for sure now, uh, is I can't buff. You know, that's the one thing I can't do because it tears me up and uh, I don't care how good a painter you are, uh, that's one thing that you will have to learn to do is buff a car, man. If you want to be a show car guy, that comes with buffing. And uh, buffing is the back breaking part that nobody really talks about. You know, we all show our cars all pretty and stuff, but I think nobody really shows the buffing part. Because uh, that's the worst part, man. That's like when you're a mechanic, the worst part is doing the parts washing, you know, standing at the parts washer and uh, scrubbing the grease off. It's always fun to do the assembly, I guess. And uh, when you're a painter, uh, the pain comes in the beginning of the job and at the end. Uh, you get to painstakingly prep the car and then you get to uh, painstakingly wet sand and buff and uh, buff to perfection if that's the goal that you have. But, uh, yeah, so I'm looking to get out of the paint thing just because I can't do it physically anymore. It's just uh, real demanding work. I, uh, I remember when I first uh, broke my back in the car accident. Uh, broke my back in three places, broke my lower back and uh, broke my thoracic and uh, took about a year and a half, two years to heal up from that and uh, decided that I wouldn't be able to go back to the paint and body field just because I did heavy hits. I was constantly getting up and down from the frame machine. And uh, I actually went back to installing trannies, uh, being an R&R &R guy, uh, doing line work. That was easier for me than doing body work. So uh, it's definitely hard on your body for sure. And uh, since I've uh, broke the arm and broke my neck, it's, uh, it's just something I can't do, man. I picked that buffer up and it just sets my neck on fire. So. I can do my uh, own stuff that I can sit on my ass and take three days to buff, but uh, these guys that want perfection in two days for, for no money, I'm just, uh, I'm done with that kind. Don't like that kind anymore. But anyway, that's what's going on. Got the Nova here collecting uh, cobwebs again. And uh, man, it's hard to get on your own stuff for sure. And uh, this thing here is still sitting in primer. I need to get on this. I haven't been able to uh, go down and talk to him. Since I've done the chassis and stuff, I got it sitting in here and uh, got to get some more materials for it. And uh, I'm going to get it in paint probably at the beginning of the week and get that knocked out. And then I still got the bus sitting here ready to uh, squirt some paint on that. So we got the local show coming up at the end of the, the, end of the month, I think, which is uh, I think a week and a half away, if that. And I wanted to try to have that bus there for sale. And to be perfectly honest, if I don't get the bus done, I'm going to pull the motor out and take it for sale. And uh, take a couple engines and stuff with me. Just to try to get some kind of cash going. But, uh, and I still got the Chrysler out here. This dude here is really cool. And I definitely still do work for him. Because uh, he doesn't mind getting off the, uh, the flow, you know. He knows what it takes to make it. And he wants it that way. And he'll uh, open the wallet. That's the kind I like. Got the Titan there, so I got to put a tranny in that. Got the tranny in the bag over here. You can get down and get the converter flush. I got to get the converter cleaned out because apparently, you know, when the tranny, he got into it, it had quite a bit of wear on the clutch packs. So he told me that, you know, the tranny or the converter is going to be full of clutch material and stuff. And I should really get it uh, pumped out. And then he got me the uh, special ATF fluid. I guess it takes a uh, special fluid for these uh, Japanese Mercedes type transmissions. So uh, that's what we got there in the boxes. And uh, maybe middle of the week we can get on that. I really need a car to drive too. So probably just take the tag off the old uh, the bug and put it on the Titan for a while, drive it. And uh, I can't really, I don't think I'm gonna sell the bug. I don't know, I had a couple people that were interested in it, but they sort of, you know, have stopped calling or whatever. So 
Going to do a few things to this. I'm going to get a dash pad for it uh, beginning of next week. Found a, a new one in town for 100 bucks. So I'm going to grab that and uh, finish up the interior, get the headliner put in there, and uh, maybe do a repaint on there and raise it up five grand. And I think I'll sell it. A lot of times, you know, it's because cars are too cheap. Uh, scooter has no problem selling them when they're ten, twelve thousand dollars. People love that kind, you know. But when you try to sell them at a discount, they need a little work. People don't seem to bite on those. So uh, yeah, it's like this guy just bought this one. I do believe not too long ago, and uh, he paid pretty penny for it, more than I'm asking for my bug for sure. And uh, you can see it's got quite a bit of butchery there, bondo and stuff. And uh, you know we're building a motor for it shortly after he buys it so not only do you have the price of the vehicle here and uh you know let's just say it's in between over five and under ten but now you know you have this cost and then if you wanted to get any of that straightened out you'd have that you know five or six thousand dollars for a paint job so you know when you add all that together sometimes i guess that's why people go for the more expensive stuff that's completely finished because when you buy something that's uh, used, you know, and has some wear on it, I guess people intend on investing money, so. Yeah, I had a scare with the cats. You know, I got all these damn cats around here, and uh, I pretty much know all of them, even though there's a shitload of them. We got some woods in the back that they live in, and I feed them. I'm, I'm guilty of that, because I'm a cat person. Animal person, anyway. And, uh, I think I got about, uh... What, well, you want to be on video? No, I don't. Oh, okay. I think I got about 15 cats. I don't know. I'm just saying. There's a shitload of them. And uh, there's some kittens. But the neighbor came over the other day and told me my cat was uh, on her porch in really bad shape, you know? So I sent Hans over there. And Hans didn't want to deal with it, so I went over and uh, I uh, was checking it out. And it was a black cat and it was chewed up pretty bad. It either got hit by a car or whatever and it had been there for a day or two laid up. It stenched pretty bad. And it was uh, hidden behind some uh, planters. So, uh, you know, I thought it was one of my cats. And uh, I went to pull the planter out and got stung by about three or four wasps in the back of the neck. And uh, that really sucked bad. I'm allergic to bees and wasps, so that was an issue. Got that under control. And uh, finally, when I got back from uh, you know dealing with that, uh, I was feeding the cats that I had left. I thought you know, and my cat showed up that I thought was over there. So ended up getting stung by bees and going over there, getting all upset and stuff. And it wasn't even my cat. So uh, had a friend come over and take it and had it put to sleep because it was rough, man. And uh, you know, it wasn't mine. I guess I thought it was mine. And uh, haven't had any neighbors come looking for their cat. But uh, if they do, I have one for them. But that one was in just really bad shape. And uh, the vet said it would have been, you know, better off just to put it to sleep than even try to save it. Uh, it had some, it had been sitting for three or four days like that up on that porch. And the lady just noticed it. So, so yeah, I had to deal with that and uh, hate that kind. But uh, let me go ahead and shut this off. It's getting really long. I got to call Dave's Customs today. I apologize. And uh, remember, keep an eye out for this guy. And go over here and check him out. Kenny, Street Rider 100. Got the cool videos. Kenny, make some vlogs, man. I like the vlogs. I, li I like listening to you babble about what's going on, man. You know, the cars are cool, but the vlogs are cool too. So, so anyway, he does a lot of... Uh, car show videos and stuff but he does do some vlogs some riding videos and stuff and we all like that kind so uh maybe he'll start doing some of those we go over there and say hey make us some vlogs so uh, you guys have a great day it's a little cloudy today still a john carry day it's a pretty good day so uh, we'll make the best out of it hans is going to the beach today with his girlfriend and his uh mustang he likes his his uh bomber as he calls it the rust bomb but uh, yeah, so let me shut this off. I got to get this uh, truck pushed into the backyard. They're trying to rent the house next door, so I have to uh, clean my hoard up a little bit, move my truck, move my boat, and uh, secure my 13 cars. All right, guys.